This gadget man, Nebraska Aaron Cheek. <laughs> I got my lovely assistant on the other camera. This is a new thing for me. Uh, <laughs> down here in the TBI, I wanted to show you as a service bulletin. Right here, Amy, come over here. On the TBI, pay very, very close attention to all your vacuum lines and stuff. And what I did was, come over here, Amy, for the map sensor to locate it in a different place it used to be on the back side of the TBI now what I've done is I've run a hose from here on the bottom of the map sensor over to the in intake right here and this other one will run into the top of it you might have to put a T in there sometimes because these usually only have a single uh, vacuum port right there but pay very very close attention spray starting fluid uh, choke cleaner whatever you have to put put in here on each one of these connections, on all these, on the TBI especially, because you got a lot of vacuum lines running here. And also on this side, right over here, Amy, this vacuum line, this vacuum line, there's ones that run here too. Make sure that these are, are not brittle and you're not getting any vacuum leaks. I want to show you some results. Okay, this was before the groove. This is after I performed the groove. It did drop in temperature, but I just was still not satisfied with the way it was running. It was kind of shuddering still a little bit and had kind of a hard time starting. So after I ran around for a while, I finally found out it does have a vacuum leak after vacuum leak found. Look at the manifold temperatures and the difference of here to here and also from the top to the bottom, what your vacuum leak does. They dramatically dropped. So, this is a service bulletin from Gadget Man Nebraska. Up here, please. <laughs> this is Gadget Man Nebraska. Just wanted to share that little tidbit with you. And uh, hope you like this, Ron. And i got my lovely assistant right over here. Gadget Man out. Bye.